let's recap what we have done so far I have installed four virtual operating system all four has Windows Server 2012 and this is uh, our cluster domain controller machine and these three servers are our cluster nodes I installed Windows uh, Server 2012 RTM and after that I applied all the patches okay so these four servers we will be using for this demo has all the Windows updates so before we cluster we need to do some configuration changes uh, for example uh, uh, to make our demo easier we might have to disable the firewall otherwise you have to open the specific uh, port you know uh, you have to do a lot of tweakings in the firewall so for this demo I am going to disable firewall on all four machines and like that I am going to do couple of things uh, for example uh, let us write down what what I am going to do uh, disable firewall on all four servers which includes uh, cluster DC node 1 2 3 and disable DAC uh, DAC is uh, some something uh, security related uh, which will usually uh, give a pop-up every time when you uh, open a software or delete a file do you really want to delete a file you know do you really want to run this program as admin you know, it's uh, the pop-ups are really annoying sometimes so I will go ahead and disable that DAC on all four servers okay and after that I will add the dotnet framework 3.5 on all four servers add failover cluster future on all three nodes update the windows software okay these are all the things i'm going to do now before we you know uh, go ahead with the installation of sql clustering i'm going to do these things first let's disable the firewall okay we disable the firewall uh, our next step is uh, user access control sorry it's not it, it's not DAC it is UAC user access control I'm sorry for that this UAC okay so I'm going to uh, keep it low and uh, what is our next step dot net framework dot net framework you have to click the add roles and futures select the role based or future based and here you select the server the, the current server and uh, it's not a role it is a future you select this and uh, you have to select the failover clustering because uh, you're going to do the clustering between these three nodes so you have to add failover cluster future on all three nodes you don't need to add that future on cluster DC uh, this, this will contain uh, just a domain controller okay so you need to add failover clustering on three nodes so right now I'm ma I'm making uh, modifications to the node one later on I will do the same modification uh, the changes 
to the remaining uh, other servers. And also you will have to do one more thing, application server. You need that role. So in the application server role, you need to select incoming and outgoing. This is required for uh, MSDTC. If you are going to use MSDTC, then you, 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 you might need this. Do we have to do any other changes? Let's check the nodes. Okay, so we added the failover cluster. .NET. Okay, that's it. Um, let's add these features. Okay, it will take some time. I'm going to pass the video here and I will resume uh, after all these changes are done. Okay, whatever the features that we added are installed successfully. Also, we need to make uh, one more change. Uh, let's note it down. We need to set the time zone. Okay, uh, I'm in Eastern uh, time zone. So right now the time is 11 p.m. I need to make this time zone same on all servers because when I cluster the servers time zone has to be a uh, same otherwise you will get some errors. Okay, so and also For the node one, I am going to change. When I install the virtual operating system, it gives some different name. So what we have to do for every server, whatever the server, for example, uh, we are installing node one, we will want to have the server name as node one. Like that, I'm going to do the same thing on all other servers. For example, I'm going to change the server name. The, definitely the server name will be some junk name. So I'm going to give the server name as node 2 and apply .NET uh, 3.5 framework and application role and add the failover cluster future. Whatever the changes that I have, that I have done so far to the node 1, I'm going to apply the same changes to node 2 and node 3 and cluster uh, domain control mission. Okay, but in the cluster in this domain control mission, I'm not going to install failover cluster future. Okay, this is not required on this server, but rest of the features that of the rest of the things that I have done on node 1 has to be done on this server too. Okay, so I will update all these things on all uh, for the remaining servers and I will uh, uh, resume the video from there. Okay, I'll take a pause now and I will uh, continue uh, from the next step.